Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be from Group A. I'm not sure a lot of other people showed up from Group A. Actually, can I do a color swap? No, I cannot. Upper left-hand corner, we have Ash Ball starting as the Midnight Blue Protoss, 6 o'clock location. We have Stunter starting as the Yellow Terran. And this is BSL Season 16 opener. Unfortunately, from Group A, I do not have a lot of replays. Also, I believe it is best of one at this stage. And then, so I'm not sure how many times these guys played. But this is the rep I got from Group A. It seems like the round of 32, we always don't have a lot of replays to work with. But anyway, this is Power Bond, natural expansion, fairly wide choke, nearby third base that is somewhat exposed, but ha as you've got multiple entry points, but is somewhat defensible, particularly by siege tanks. Nearby mineral only from that angle, but you can see where vultures could sneak in there quite wide. And then uh, third base in that upper right hand corner over there. And so the, really the critical thing is, is in the middle of the map, you got this really cool Terran Command Center, and I want to see that captured by a Zerg sometime this season. I'm hoping that happens, but huge wide open map, so you can see where Vultures can be a big problem for Protoss. Grabbing additional bases and defending them can be a problem for Protoss. So really, I feel like it favors that very heavy Dragoon style of play, and potentially opening up 12 Nexus, uh, fast Nexus play against a more defensive Terran, where I feel like the Terrans that opt to go more aggressive and get the Vulture Floods earlier we'll have more success stunter building a supply depot along that edge i do not know a lot about stunter so we'll have to see i know that ash ball is an active participant in the cpl community if you want to learn to play starcraft that is the place to go and just a cool guy in general and a pretty skilled player i believe i have casted him previously but he has graduated from chobo league i think was the last time i casted him and so now we're seeing him in hasu league pretty good cast of players this season i'm letting oh okay so Chat is helping me out. Special shout out to Beamy99. Stunter's Hungarian. He's been playing a bit recently. That's the only f information he has there. Uh, so Hungarian Terran player. And I will say there, if my brain is operating properly with all of the background information of Brood War players, for whatever reason, players that come out of Hungary tend to be pretty good for some reason, if I recall. It's like the, Hungra the Hungarian, Croatian, Polish composition seems to be, in Europe, seems to be outsized as far as the level of skill compared to their uh, geographic and population size, I will say. Ball scouting towards that upright hand corner, as has Stunter. Looks like we are seeing a supply depot towards that front. So this was going to be the Zealot defense potentially, but it looks like we're skipping a Zealot and we're going to go straight to Dragoons, getting range first. Range at least not being skipped overall by Ball. And there is the initial factory. Initial Marine, we'll see if it's just going to be factory into expand, but Stunter could pull off some form of early interesting aggression as he's continuing to produce these marines he's not keeping the marines light in count so that does lead me to believe he's potentially going to be aggressive he's got two marines kind of staggered let's see if he reveals that first marine or that third marine towards the front because seeing those three marines should put ball in a little bit more of a defensive mindset he actually hasn't built that first dragoon has plopped down a second gateway kind of a risky play probe his meander down I think he spotted the three Marines, but nothing else. It looks like Stunter is going to go ahead and grab an expansion behind this. Let's see if it produces initial Vulture as well. After he's got that command center plump down, he is going to get sufficient scouting information to see the double gateway opener. I think this is an interesting play from Ball, opting to go for the gateway before the Dragoon, getting two Dragoons now out at this stage. It would leave him potentially vulnerable to a quick Marine flood, but spotting what he spotted is feeling a little bit more safe in this situation machine shot being dropped and this creates a very interesting front door where it is manageable but you can see where it uh, could create a bit of a clog against enemy units should they decide to ascend we do have a fourth marine being actually fourth marines out bunker being dropped siege tech being researched so and a nexus being grabbed SCV has seen all of this is going to see that range finish and is also going to be able to confirm the nexus so has an eye full of information all the way around and I will say this is old school. I haven't seen it. I, there's been so many Terran off timing pushes recently and so much Terran aggression with an early, early vulture play that it's been a while before, uh, since I've seen the uh, machine shop siege tech into expand. It looks like an armory being dropped behind this that will speed up that plus one weapons. But with the barracks to drop and blockade and that siege tech on the high ground should be sufficient to defend SCVs do need to get in position in a hurry. 
because Ball is going to have a good amount of Dragoons. Robotics facility being constructed behind this. Some Dragoons holding the ramp just in case another SCV is able to sneak out there. A few too many SCV repairing the bunker on the front, maybe anticipating a third Dragoon overall. And that barracks positioning actually not out overhead. It's kind of at a blockade angle, and I'm wondering if that's either nerves or something intentional out of Stuncher. Dragoon, are, they're going to have to back off because that's a siege tank on the high ground. Initial shot. Ball taking some base damage on that Dragoon. It looks like the Dragoon got a kill, so that was the one that was in the base earlier. So the one that's battle hard veteran from killing the SCV. It looks like it's going to be two gate into Observer. And I'm hoping Ball is saving up resources to go ahead and grab that quick third. Usually I would say this would be a risky take. But he went for the two gateways, has produced a good amount of Dragoons out of it. If he could just drop two more pylons, it might be a little bit more defensible. Certainly might want to get a forge up sooner rather than later. Engineering bay being dropped towards the front. But I got to say, Stunter's playing so passively and doesn't look like he's constructing any form of vulture play. He's still sticking to a single factory. Even at this stage, this reminds me of very old school play. And look at this. Ball actually thinking of double expanding here. So he's got two pylons here. He's got a nexus. Is got, well, He's at least got a probe out to the north. Maybe to grab a quick fourth. The observer making its way out. I will say Stunter's playing as though he wants to go for a quick third as he's dropping some turrets out on the perimeter because he's keeping to a more economically strong, and you can see he's uh, growing a pretty sizable resource count, even building single siege tanks as they're able to come. This is going to keep him a lot lower on the overall troop count, but he should be able to have the resources to grab a third should he desire to take it fairly early. The Observer going to have to get out of dodge as the turret's already in place. He's dropping a starport already, and I'm wondering if that's for plus two weapons or he's thinking about following this up with a double siege tank drop as they're two hanging out in the base. Second factory finally being dropped. Third base is up. Stunter doing a pretty good job macroing. You can see the pylons already in place maybe to grab a quick fourth for ball. But usually this is where I feel like Terran would be out on the map with a lot of vultures harassing these three bases. Ball's already got them up and established. Has a pretty sizable Dragoon force to engage at one of those locations. He's got his forge out. He's already got that Stargate up and whirling and he's a, li a little bit behind in the worker count he should sur surge ahead he does have three bases fully saturated which is good in the advantage there's those cannons to deal with that potential venture, uh, vulture threat but in the meantime stunter going up to three factories getting a science facility right off the bat so does uh, looks like that was to get a faster plus two up and second armor going down so i think he's going to go for more he's going to play it maybe up to the five factory count go for that plus two weapons plus one armor push rather than going for a quick third. He's played it very, very economically aggressive here early. Right now, the worker count's dead even, but with the three saturated bases and a slight supply lead and a lot of gateways coming down, Ball in a pretty good situation to go ahead and surge that troop count in the mid-game. Does have that Arbiter Tribunal ready to be placed as that Templar Archives is coming online. No Zealot leg speed as of yet. One problem for Stunter here is since he hasn't got aggressive out in the field with his vultures going and moving out to a very exposed open base to grab his third at any location could be a great challenge against a potentially sizable Dragoon and Zealot attack force should Ball start moving his army a little bit more aggressively towards the front, which I'm uh, kind of shocked he's not doing actually, starting to move it out a little bit now. He does have this Dragoon towards this forward slot, but was expecting him to be a little bit more aggressive with his troop positioning again to deal with potential vulture follow. It's vulture speed just now being upgraded. This is this feels so anciently late for a comparative uh comsats dropping down. Let's see if we can whoops, strong vision right there. It looks like he is gonna get a spot of the Arbiter Tribunal and that timing. But yeah, it feels like this is gonna be a very late vulture speed. And I don't know that he's going to get a lot accomplished out of it as a result. Control Tower is dropping, so it's possible we are either going to see a Science Vessel to deal with Arbiters out there, or don't forget there is the possibility of a Vulture drop. Fourth Factory being dropped, and a third Command Center. And right now, Ball actually just staying back passively. He, doesn't, he is a little bit down on the overall troop count from where he would want to be. He would want to have a little bit more supply. To the point where it would be uh, directly even. A Dark Templar is wandering its way out towards the front to create a bit of harassment, perhaps interrupt this third. But Stunter has enough troops here 
and there's not a lot of aggression from Ball to stop him from just floating out and grabbing whichever base he wants. So Dark Templar hanging out to the north. Two Dragoons are not going to be sufficient. Now Ball moving out, but he's going to be moving into potentially a superior siege position of Stunter as he's walking out. Dark Templar engaging amidst the tanks. Comsat very quickly causing some splash damage on those rear siege tanks. Ball getting a couple siege tanks hit hits is going to back out. And this is interesting. Looks like Stunter thinking of double expanding because he's got this command center that's building on the ground. This command center he's going to potentially lift off and go to this northern position. So going to rely on Ball playing more passively and allow him to go up to a quick four bases maybe. Plus two weapons on its way. He's going to need a lot more factories behind this though to keep up with Ball's output as Ball is up at the nine factory count and does have Arbiter in construction. Doesn't look like the initial Arbiter out. Looks like a fourth base has been tacked on for Ball upper left-hand corner and he's thinking about grabbing another base himself. Siege tanks... Okay, it looks like that was a mistake from Stunter. Wow, double. I'm going to say that's kind of a double mistake from Stunter. And this is showing some some nerves here in the early rounds of Hasu League. He was building the command center, realized, oh, I already built a command center, canceled it, dropped this one. When honestly, I feel like it would have been more advisable rather than canceling that command center and losing the resources to let it finish and try to grab another. Even though that would have been a very difficult defense. I'm not sure it's worth the uh, lost minerals. And honestly, Ball's not applying a lot of pressure. So Siege Tanks to the south might have been sufficient or even just landing it someplace and letting it produce additional SCV for you and letting it be uh, additional supply way station. Regardless, level two weapons, level one armor now finishing. Plus one weapons is finished. It looks like plus two weapons on the way. First Arbiter should be out. Stasis also upgrading. A lot of gateways down. Single Zealot being chased out of that three o'clock location. Some vultures wandering up there to go ahead and check the scenario out. The Observer going to wander that direction to see whether this is just Stunter positioning territory up that direction or whether he's really thinking about taking additional base. So that actually, now he's building another command center. This might, honestly, it might have been advisable just to float it to the three o'clock. In the meantime, Ball taking up territory in the upper right-hand corner, dropping some gateways for potential guerrilla style. As he is surging towards 200, is well ahead now in the late game macro. Worker count just about even. Some zealots getting pulled off from the north. They're going to end up losing their lives. A little bit of difficulty with that map control. And the Arbiter up in forward position. Maybe going to wait for stasis energy. Or potentially just going to say, okay, you go ahead and take these three bases, Stunter. Grab that three o'clock location. Or I should say four bases. That natural expansion. Uh, the mineral only. It looks, looks like now. Again, going to build that at the lower location and float it up there uh, once again. But yeah, go ahead and take these four bases. I will take the rest of the map. Could potentially also be Ball's plans. Ball near 200 supply. So this is the stage where Protoss usually wants to do something. Zealot bombs, Arbiter recalls, something to slow his opponent down. Looks like recall is upgrading, but isn't going to be there in time to stop Stunter grabbing that fourth. There is going to be a large swath of territory to defend as Stunter just kind of gathering up in that right-hand corner. He's currently on sieging, so maybe thinking about making some, some movements. You can see Ball thinking, okay, maybe this is going to be an additional base take, positioning a fistful of troops that direction, drops in some commsats. So Stunter playing a very defensive style here up to this stage. Now starting to move out with that plus two weapons finish against a larger attack force, but Ball seeding territory just backing up. There is a there is stasis energy, however, and these are a big bunch of tanks that could get heavily stasis in the rear. Ball now engaging from that right hand side. Zelt's coming from the opposite angle, and this is going to be the critical stasis point if it lands. And there it is. Huge stasis on that rear chunk of tanks. Dragoon should be able to clear everything else, and Ball can just re-macro this and A move through everything that's left. Stunter is potentially going to have trouble keeping his additional base. He does have, it looks like, a science vessel, but really that, that clump stasis right there was absolutely monstrous. And it looks like that third base is going to fall. The fourth is operational. Potentially, it might be wise just to move the SCVs to that upper right-hand corner for Stunter right this second. Some siege tanks trying to get in there and defend. It looks like that command center might fall. Now some SCVs retreating to that northern base. But worker count getting picked away at. I will say, though, Ball hasn't surged up to that 70 count that typically you see 
is now that he's disrupted that third base, is making his way up to go ahead and wipe out that fourth. The Vulture's going to try to fight their way up to the high ground. And regardless of what's happening here, it looks like some reinforcements streaming in. It looks like this is allowed Ball to go ahead and establish that three o'clock corner. So this command center being lifted off, that third base temporarily being lifted off. It looks like it is not relanded. So Stunter's economy being shackled momentarily until those two command centers are able to redrop. The main is starting to look somewhat thin here. The resources starting to filter out. Looks like there's a, another Stargate in that location to allow the double creation of those Arbiters. And if you look at the supply counts as well, and all of these gateways all over the map, a lot of Zealots being produced to rush to that forward position. This is a huge army supply lead for Ball. Looks that Arbiter is still trying to mix it up at that 3 o'clock location. Is going to maybe dive in on front of those siege tanks, see what kills it can get. Another stasis dropped. Zealots pushing in. There's plenty of siege tanks to deal with this, but it looks like the commsats there maybe not in time. That command center being worked away at. And with that distractionary attack, Ball also engaging across the center of the map is face planting on a lot of mines right there. Not a lot of observers behind this. So the Zealots in large numbers getting cleared out. But still a huge supply lead. More Dragoons making their way across. And Stunter having great difficulty. You can just see him scrambling to try to defend all his holdings. Has lost that 3 o'clock location. He's still siege tanks trying to defend up there. A now empty base and a bunch of additional critical stasises from Ball at the 3rd. Look like it's poised to go ahead and wipe out this additional base as well. Stunter actually still has a, a decent sized bank. Ball, again, has stuck just to the 55. Worker count hasn't really surged it to 70. He's done a pretty decent job macroing. Still has that 20 supply lead. And is putting himself in a really good situation to be in a really sizable advantage in the late game. However, he needs to capitalize on something. So he's wiped out the three o'clock. He hasn't been able to wipe out the third base as of yet, but he needs to really concentrate on that macro because right this second, he's dropped again within 15 supply. And he, so he's got all the bases, just needs to make sure that they're saturated. His main is starting to look a bit thin and just needs to re-macro up. And you can see, yeah, just not having the, the base, the base is uh, well saturated with the probes out on location. It's starting to hurt ball right this second, now establishing bases up right because he's run out of bank and wasn't keeping up overall with supply, but wiping out those two bases. And unfortunately, because of that, so now getting up to the uh, 60 probe count, if he had 70 probes right now, the game would be over, is what it came down to. Still in a very strong, advantageous situation. However, Stunter grouping up level three weapons, level two armor now. A good amount of factories, an okay bank is really hurting for gas. So needs to get to that three o'clock location, reestablish it, get some gas up and maybe try to grab this base over here. That's going to be a challenge though, as Ball's troop count once again surging. Needs to get those troops concentrated though and denying these additional bases. As long as he's doing that, he should be able to stall, uh, starve out Stunter through the long term. Stunter rebuilding a command center on the low ground. Man, he just, I don't know why he didn't, uh, I will say this, maybe a bit of a flaw in Stunter's game is, is feeling a little bit too passive here. He has this well in hand. Didn't need to build it and float it over. Now building that refinery, a little bit overly cautious there in his play. Ball holds nearly everything elsewhere out in the map. Has taken that upper right hand base. Does need to, yeah, just get the probe saturating. It looks like Stunter comsatting. And now the vault, this could be a swing though because Stunter can now start sending those vultures out on the map. And this is a wide open map. If he wants to go and get some base harass, but Stunter thus far has played entirely a shell style. Arbiter's moving up. I'm expecting that count off the double Stargate to increase, although that Stargate silent and that Stargate currently silent. Plus one armor making its way, plus three weapons is finished overall. And Ball dropping some additional gateways. The other trick here for Ball is Ball doesn't need to attack into Stunter at this stage. He's wiped out those, th those three bases. He's done a lot of damage. All he really has to do is hold what he's got and wipe out that mech. Ooh, this could be a disastrous recall. So recall going in, getting one zealot inside the base that should be easily cleaned up by a couple vultures, maybe a turret. Wow, look at, look how much defense Stunter put in. Another recall coming in, another Arbiter down. 
didn't fire off. I don't think the energy was there. And it doesn't look like there's any additional attack. So two Arbiters, really not for a lot. But Ball has managed to rebuild that bank. He's got that 12 o'clock base coming up. So all he really has to do is now, now that Stunter is uh, very quickly down to two bases, it's two bases versus what? One, two, three, four, five, six-ish, five and a half, five base Protoss. All he has to do is exactly this. Have a lot of Dragoons, etc. in the way. If Stunter tries to move and take territory into him, just collapse that army, rebuild rapidly, or go for a back-end recall, either at the three o'clock location or across this third base at the four o'clock location. Arbiter swinging around potentially to do just that. Stunter is moving some troops. Zealot spotting forward, sees that troop movement. Starting to engage mid-map. And I'm looking for that Arbiter. It has energy. It's in that upper right. It looks like it was going to make a run. Looks like it's going to hold though. Ball splitting his attack forces. He's got three groupings here. Maybe waiting for Stunter to get into No Man's Land midfield, or he could be drawing some Arbiters back. I'm not seeing any High Templar at this stage either, and that does become tr troublesome when it's just flat even army versus even army with Terran mech upgrades and positioning advantage. The Dragoon's getting obliterated to the south, so Stunter able to swing around, wipe out those Dragoons. Now Ball engaging to the north. Two critical defense matrix along that right side flank, and there's no Arbiter support, nor High Templar. So a sudden supply swing. This is the problem with going just Gateway Man, is it works if you have a constant supply lead, but the moment those Terran upgrades kick in and you allow them to take that positioning advantage, they can wipe out your army rather rapidly, particularly if you're not going for recalls, stasis, size storm, etc. So all of a sudden, Stuncher with the supply lead, and able to establish this interior six o'clock base. SV saturating. However, Ball still has a massive amount of holdings. Is building a war chest. Now a recall at the three o'clock location. Some siege tanks are there on site to defend. So it looks like that is going to get taken care of rather rapidly. And Stunter rebuilding the turrets. And Stunter playing a very shell like style. It is going to be up to Ball entirely to crack this, I believe. Stunter wait, is just going to, I assume, build that war chest, hit 200 supply, then start making motions. Ball rebuilding that attack force. Hoping to see more Arbiters. He does have two Arbiter count. Is continuing with those upgrades. Try to equalize things in that regard a little bit. But now that's going to be a much harder challenge. Although Stunter unseaging and walking into Ball's army. Ball's army somewhat scattered. Big EMP hitting that Arbiter. So the Arbiter support not there, and as a result, Ball once again going to get thrashed. And that was a very that was a very heavy zealot attack force. And I don't know that Ball even got a shot off into Stunder's army there. Another attack force gathering up. It looks like a zealot has managed to get into the SCV line to the south. Stunter engaging a few attack forces to the northeast, able to clear out those zealots to the south as he swings around. And yeah, those heavy upgrades you can see just melting through this Protoss army at this stage. So all of a sudden, Stunter not in that bad a position. Starting to, w realizing he's wiped Ball's army, going on the hunt and starting to clear out troops. Ball looking to engage from multiple locations. So Stunter stringing out a little bit and I have to back up just to kind of catch where all of the army action is happening. So Stunter being dragged off the latter end of his army being pulled back a bit by Ball, but Ball might want to reposition. An okay stasis here to the north. Goliath is going to be able to take out that Arbiter that's a bit out of position. That 12 o'clock base somewhat exposed as Stunter now making moves. And Ball really doesn't have a concentrated grouped attack force to go for a counterattack as of yet. It looks like he's still trying to play catch up. The bank's just about even. A lot of gas in Ball's favor, but I haven't seen a lot of High Templar fielded for the late game size storms. And Stunter all of a sudden getting a foothold in the upper right. And with this foothold, threatening three bases of balls. This could be a huge swing. Detection now out on the front to allow that sieged position. But there are troops flooding in from every side. The Zealots breaching from the left. 
as troops swinging into the right, so stunts are losing that army. A little bit overextended. Zealots now trying to capitalize on this and again wipe out Stunter's base to the inside six o'clock location. Siege tanks are going to engage, so it doesn't look like there's enough of a troop count to make a difference. But Ball hunting down what is left of Stunter's army that was isolated in the three in the center of the map, and he's also going to grab that inside three behind this. He has to hope that Ball doesn't scout it as Ball now has that dominable supply lead that makes this very heavy ground play run. Plus, with the Arbiter support, although lacking energy, makes it much more challenging, particularly with science vessels out of position. Dragoons again engaging to the south. Ball wanting to get into the SCV line, however, getting caught up by the Vulture and Siege Tank army. More reinforcements making the way there. Still a decent supply lead for Ball, but just isn't able to get troops in the location he wants them. Three o'clock base, interior online for Stunter, grabbing that gas. So turning into an insane match, Stunter all of a sudden, potentially going to be mining off four bases. Some minerals being left here for Ball for a rainy day. The third is mined out. So he's mining off four. So it's potentially going to be three bases versus four, which would technically be even Ball you can see low on that resource count. Maybe he doesn't have the probes shuffled where he really wants them to or potentially just macroing very, very efficiently to close that gap. Stunter dropping turrets again. Shelling up and playing a very slow, smothering style. Zealots now pushing in, discovering this 3 o'clock location. Ball looks like he has enough to go ahead and sweep into there. Not enough siege tanks in position nor mines to clear this attack trooping out. However, with reinforcements, looks like it's going to be enough to evict what's left. Zealots looking for a counterattack situation in the bottom left, but siege tanks towards the rear of that command center, wiping out all the dragoons. So all they're getting is turrets to their name, and those turrets very quickly being reconstructed. So Stunter really living up to his namesake here, where it's kind of just push and shove his way forward, kind of stunting balls movements across the map quickly that gas hasn't been grabbed not that it makes a difference because ball really with a huge it looks like he's just played so zealot heavy that he really hasn't had a lot of uh minerals to key in stuncher a little bit low on resources right this second but he does have that third base coming online so should be able to fill that out shortly so potentially this is going to be coming uh, coming down to a fight to this interior nine o'clock location and this base in the bottom left. And Stunter starting to sweep that direction. Vulture is now on the map. Stunter, I will say, I feel like he's very much underutilized. A lot of Vulture forays, where he could have just been sending him out on the map, assaulting this 12 o'clock. I don't know if these two cannons would be sufficient. This attack army would have been, though. But even here, might be able to get some mines out at a reinforced location. Arbiter... Moving in across the 3 o'clock, able to get some troops right on top of those siege tanks. Nice recall. And a counterattack of reinforcements making their way up. Reinforcements surging for Stunter. SCVs haven't been hit as of yet, but the Zealots sweeping in right this second to chew in there. The Arbiter, unfortunately, not cloaking any of the units with its current positioning. So it looks like that is going to be cleared out. But a lot of SCVs have been... Assaulted, it looks like Ball, maybe. So usually this has been comboed with a secondary attack. It looks like he's not going to go for a, a secondary attack in that bottom right. However, he is going to be able to go ahead and pull that Arbiter out. Dragoon getting a little bit out of control and floating mid-map here. Another Arbiter staging up to maybe go for a recall on the main, but unless he takes the very southerly route, even with the very southern, southerly route, this is just too many turrets in my opinion. Ball taking this critical base at the three o'clock, or sorry, at the nine o'clock location, which could be the critical base that gives him the win overall if he can get that troop count back up. There's also the possibility of going for an interior recall rather than recalling at the main, going for a recall over these siege tanks. And honestly, this recall position could be fantastic. These troops currently grouped up. Honestly, a recall right here that could be the siege tanks and this base potentially. Arbiter starting to make its way this direction. Siege tank sailing in that way. And then for oh, the Arbiter, though, opting to change direction and instead 
recalling right on top of the minefield. Oh, no! That was looking to be perfect. Right there, it would have been gorgeous, but instead... And right through the gap as well, instead opting to surge left so he loses the Arbiter and the attack forces, is now suddenly down a massive amount of supply. And Stunter walking up and finding that exposed 9 o'clock. He can easily take this territory. I'm going to put this, despite the uh, much larger, uh, or, uh, I should say, resource bank in Ball's hands right this second, I'm going to say this is maybe Stunter's games to lose because he can go ahead and wipe out this 9 o'clock base, grab it for himself, cap bottom left, at which point he can just starve Ball out right now with a sizable supply lead. And honestly, I'd like him to see, I'd like to see him lift off one of the command centers from one of these empty bases to do so. <laughs> Just to uh, stay true to form. Dragoon sneaking up at the 3 o'clock for Ball. He does have another attack grouping, but he, man, he needs to accomplish something somewhere right now. And he is getting repelled at every location. This is a lot of yellow on the interior of this map, really holding central map control. Stunter moving up, wiping out the Dragoons. Big attack to the north. Vulture sweeping in and reinforcements as well. Science Vessel gets wiped out, but there's no Arbiter overhead really to make a punishing attack for that. Some Zealots streaming across. Mid-map, maybe to go for an edge flank, but now some Dragoons exposed against mines getting cut off as far as a counter support. Full energy Arbiter, though. Good stasis there. There could be a nice solid follow-up stasis as well. Looks like there's another stasis from the opposite angle. But with the huge bulk of siege tanks and the upgrades in between, I don't think Ball's going to get a lot accomplished. Now trying to reposition, engage here at the 6 o'clock. It looks like a lot of those siege tanks that were reinforcing were coming from this direction. A Dragoon and a Zealot engaging a siege tank or two to the left. It looks like finally Ball able to break through. However, reinforcements are making their way across the map for Stunter to crowd around and still no SCVs have been wiped out and a mine just obliterating the last three Dragoons there. A sweep of attack troops from Ball going to wipe out prospects of that interior nine. But the question is, is for how long as siege tanks are sweeping in from the east, the Dragoons try to concentrate fire on that command center. 56 health, 26 health. And an SCV is barely going to be able to sweep in and repair it, it looks like. Maybe. Sweep in and repair? Oh, very close. Love Hasu League. Couple Zealots in no man's land, but now Ball's prospects looking very dire. As as soon as this command center is repaired, as long as this SCV glitching out as it's attempting to land, there's a big wall of mech between locations. A flurry of consats going out. As you can see, and I think they're going to like what they're seeing as far as leftover resources. We got resources starting to mine out. This main in the upper right looks like it might be the last base. There's still some resources left here for Ball potentially, but he's really hurting on that mineral count to be able to fill in what's left. Huge supply lead for Stunter. If he wanted to get aggressive, he could. He does not need to, however. As he's gone ahead and re-repair, just needs to saturate this mineral only at the interior nine and grab this base in the bottom left. At which stage he will have the sizable supply lead. Two more attack troopings, finally some high Templar being mixed in. And I wanted to see that much earlier. I'm going to assume they have Psy Storm. Some critical Psy... Uh, this is Psy Storm bait right here, if you can buy the time. SV's now saturating that nine o'clock. Ball maybe has another attack or two where he needs to accomplish something. Observer floating forward, looking to wrest this 9 o'clock base out of his opponent's hands. Observer finding Goliaths that are actually chasing it down. They actually might want to back off. Counter Compsat seeing the army staging across. Single file along the left. Zealots coming from the right as well. Defense Matrix on the front. A lone High Templar, only a single size storm, but that could be... Potentially impactful, but it doesn't look like there's enough bulk army. Is the Psystorm even going to get... No, Psystorm doesn't land. The entire army melts on the terrain. And that is GG from Ball, giving the well-played as well. Very manner. Game goes to Stunter.
the newcomer from Hungary. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.